What's up everybody? Welcome to another episode of the greatest vlog in the world. My name is Jeff, your favorite tour guide in Madeira. And today is a very memorable day. We have the premiere of Andrea's new film. So it's a short film from what I know. I mean, I'm still quite new in this business, but I believe uh, he's quite the, the VIP today. So we're celebrating and we're out. We're in here. I got my shoulder fixed. So uh, I'm gonna be very fragile today. It's actually my first day out of the house so uh yeah let's go and let's go and check it out and uh stay tuned i'm hoping that this is gonna be a great video let's go Luciano and Andrea so from now I do actually realize that Luciano was the director and Andrea was the producer totally forgot but anyway um, that's the whole story and uh, some of you guys helped get this film on stage right when I found out that Andrea had launched a crowdfunding campaign or the day uh, they had launched a crowdfunding campaign uh, you know I was more than delighted to try and get the word out and some of you guys donated uh, and that helped bring in some extra money to get this whole thing on the road and I can't explain enough how much that all means to these people and all of the help that you guys gave really was all worth it. We're at the John Dos Passos uh, Cultural Center in Ponto do Sol. So if you want to see more about culture in Madeira and uh, you know all sorts of things, there's stories all over the place. And uh, you know hopefully one day we'll get down to who John Dos Passos was and uh, and why we're all here. But for now this is it. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna go and have some dinner and relax because I still got a few more weeks of recovery. So we'll take over in a couple weeks time. Thank you guys very much. Uh, as you could witness, we just uh, premiered our uh, medium uh, film or short medium film. Uh, Mad Dog Fever. It uh, warms my heart to see all of these people that showed up here in Centro Cultural John dos Passos in Ponta do Sol. Um, and these guys were amazing with us. I'd say it was a successful premiere and I'd like to say a big thank you to everyone that supported us in our crowdfunding campaign. Most of you uh, watch this uh, this channel, uh, the Hit the Road channel, and uh, from the bottom, bottom of my heart, thank you very much because without you this couldn't be possible and uh, I hope that you can hear some news about Mad Dog Fever throughout the international film festivals that we are going to put it out so let's hope let's hope we we are lucky with that so thank you very much So in today's episode we're going to be doing a little bit of personality right we want to want to show you guys a little bit more about what's going on in our lives, how Hit The Road works, what's going on in Popsake, things like that. So um, I thought I'd take this opportunity to be like a, a real YouTuber, like some of my YouTuber uh, uh, role models in New York, all sitting behind uh, limousines giving uh, like crazy uh, kind of motivational speeches and stuff. So today I want to try and uh, motivate you a little bit. For all the, you know, for all the hustlers out there, for all the business owners, for all the people who are trying to make uh, their professional lives a little bit better. Um, you know, we've been very grateful. I'm no guru or anything, but you know, we do have these magic, uh, magic suites and all of our Hit The Road cars. So we're going to tell you a little bit about how Hit The Road works and what we've been doing and what we're doing. And one, I wanted to kind of put this into a framework. So the first thing uh, I want to kind of talk about is having a plan, you know, and us entrepreneurs, uh, it can be hard to have a plan when you can't see the plan, you know? So like six months ago, I had to start making a plan 
because I knew I was going to be out of work uh, for at least two months, right? So we're four weeks into my surgery and I can now start moving my arm, but I can't drive yet, even though the doctor says that I can. I can't lift it any more than this kind of thing. It's still quite stiff and needs to be moved. So I had to have a plan uh, into, you know, what I'd be doing while I'd be, uh, you know, out of work. And, you know, being an entrepreneur, luckily enough, uh, I can have my business running and I can be working on another part of my business. So that also gives me a little bit of peace of mind knowing that I've got other things that I can do, which we're going to talk about later. So having a plan, you know, yeah, it's tough to have a plan when you can't see it. You have to be almost like a visionary. You know, yes, I'm looking at my plan now for the next six months, the next year, the next five years even. So you have to have a way to look at that, uh, to visualize that kind of stuff. Uh, before it comes into uh, play and I'm not gonna lie it's kind of weird uh, when it does you know having Luna here and having the car ready and knowing that I'm cool that I can actually afford to take the time off is pretty amazing so stay tuned like and subscribe uh, we're gonna be exploring Madeira like forever really so, yeah. Okay, here we are. I promise you Madeira stuff. It's sugarcane season here in Madeira. And uh, we're at one of our favorite places in Geisingo in Gaula, where we've got some new things to tell you about. So let's go and say hello. Pedro. The smell, I love the smell. Pedro, I was just telling our people, how you doing? I was just telling our people that our, the best marketing is the product, of course. And today we're here, this is Pedro from Rezingu. He's very busy, so we're gonna be like trying to, be, you know, if you need to leave, you just leave. There we go. So number two, best marketing is a good product. And here at Rezingu, they've made the best rum, or at least my favorite rum. Sorry to all the other rummeries, I love your rum as well, because I love rum in general. I think everybody knows that. But uh, yeah, at Geisingo, they make awesome, awesome rum. And they've just come out with something brand new, which I'm gonna let him show you. And yeah, you know, there's no marketing that can fix a bad product. You know, a lot of people see me and they go, oh, he's the guy who makes videos, he's the, the YouTuber, right? Uh, but Hit The Road, Madeira, is an actual business and the product rocks. Right? I'm sure there's a lot of you out there who know that already. And we're always working on it, you know, that's the first thing. We don't think about how do we market, you know, the tour company as best as we can without making the tour company epic, right? Pedro, tell me about your gin. Yeah, it's a new project that we made. Uh, we've, always, we've had gin before, but it was for a, a private company that was bottling, we were bottling for them. And we had plans to make our own gin, and it was just finally had time. The idea was to make it in 2022, uh, but yeah, delays after delays. We finally launched it in 2023. It's in honor of our business that was established 40 years ago. So supposed to be for 2022 like I said but yeah. yeah so it's a commemoration yeah awesome yeah. it actually awesome. says it on the back of the label so yeah so how many bottles did you make uh 960 wow uh, so yeah 960 so you've only got 959 left yeah correct <laughs> hey, hey, one, somebody polished one <laughs> off eh? so someone's already finished the bottle of gin I wonder who where can we get them uh, at the moment, you can get it with us. Uh, we're trying to busy negotiate with um, Jota Nassanabro to okay. distribute. Uh, they still haven't picked it Supermarkets up. Supermarkets and stuff, right? Supermarkets, no. Nah. No? Uh, Where I, do you... I like the personal touch, so I like, I like people coming here. Sure. Uh, I might be putting it in Pink Dos. I'm not sure. Okay. If I am, I'll put it on, the, on, your, on, the... on your blog, on your yeah, YouTube you channel. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I'll let them know. Okay. Uh, we're still busy, you know, back and forth negotiations. It is quite new, newly launched, so yeah. Cool. Well, I want to try one of those three years yeah, okay. that you said the new one because he does have some rum. And again, if you guys want to find out more about Geisingo, we did a video on this channel last year 
all about, you know, we did a whole deep dive into how it works, how long it's been doing, the whole thing, which is awesome. And again, thanks, Pedro. No, um, and we took home with us some of his best rum. So now apparently he's got something new for us. So we're going to give it a try. And yeah, uh, Pedro, you mentioned the best way to have people here and to, you know, to get it from you and to see how it works. It's always a personal touch, so yeah. So if you guys want to come out to Geisingo, you know, of course, if you're coming with us, we can make it happen for you. But then also, uh, you know, we'll put the links in the, cool. in the description of this website as to how you can get hold of Pedro, how you can come here. And if you do come here, don't be a Scrooge, right? Buy at least one bottle. Okay, because Pedro's gonna give you his time. He's gonna explain stuff. If you want to run now, you can do. I gotta run. Because <laughs> I know what it is. He's like a mad scientist over here with his rum. So if you're gonna be taking his time, you know, then make sure to buy a bottle. That's all I'm saying. Just like now, if you're watching this video, you know, you gotta hit like and subscribe, right? So we're gonna have a little, little bit of rum because we've already had the gin. Uh, maybe we should take another bottle of gin just in case, you know, because the other one's almost finished, almost polished. And we're gonna move on somewhere else. So um, yeah, let's do that, let's do that. More cool stuff coming, more cool stuff coming. It's very close to your six year, it's very close to your six year, yeah? Someone told me that. Yeah, three years. We're gonna take two bottles of gin and one of these bottles of three years. Okay. Yeah. Do you have MBY? Yeah. Cool. Back in the back seat, the motivational back seat. And point number three is that if you want to have the, how do I say this? If you want the difference between a good company and a great company or a good uh, salesman and a great salesman or any kind of uh, comparison to that point, uh, it needs to be, you need to be clear on three things. The mission, the vision, and the values of that company or organization. So at Hit The Road, we already know that the vlog's mission is to inspire people to come to Madeira, right? Not to come with us, okay? We are only hoping that by what we show you that we are proving ourselves to you guys, uh, which is also part of our mission, uh, is proving, us proving useful and valuable to you guys. Uh, and then all the little things, like all the little systems within the business, uh, you know, avoiding the crowds, uh, making more of a personalized experience, you know, the PR. I don't want to give too much away because I'm sure that all of my competitors are watching this. So they're all going to be like saying, what is Jeff doing? What is he doing? We're going to start copying him. And you know what? I don't really care. But uh, we don't want to be giving too much away anyway. So mission, vision and values. What do you stand for, uh, especially when you're hiring people? Uh, especially when you are working around with other people, uh, you have to be certain that your values align so that when you know what is a cardinal sin within the business, uh, like Nuno is learning all these little ones. Uh, do you, you, you remember the two rules? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think he's, I think he's, he's getting... I'm traumatized with that. He's starting to feel the playfulness of uh, of hit the road yeah that's uh that's mission vision and values and oh my god look at how beautiful it is today i'm so glad to be back on the road even though nuno's driving and that will carry this conversation on in a bit i'm gonna just show you guys how awesome this is so we're in pico do Arriero. for those of you who are saying i'm talking too much to show you some nice parts of Pico Duariero. And we actually are on a PopSec gig. So uh, Andrea and I launched PopSec about four months ago, our very own film studio, of course, which is what we've been doing the last two years with the vlog. And uh, we're out here uh, supporting a production. It's not Star Wars, okay? It's not Star Wars, it's not Netflix. We've just started. <laughs> so uh, we're supporting a production uh, from Porto, I believe. And uh, don't want to give out too much, but we're out here doing some work 
uh, for them. So let's show you how beautiful it is and I'm going to move on to point number four and then we're going to take you to one of my favorite places in Madeira. I swear to God, don't go anywhere, right? Better this way, Andre. Yes. You can see my face. The fourth reason I wanted to get to you is, first of all, how beautiful is this? It's crazy. Fourth um, tip that I have is more of a rule that I like to use to give my myself perspective uh, on some of the challenges that I face on a day-to-day -day or month-to-month -month basis uh, in my business and even in my personal life, which is a quote from somebody that uh, it might have actually came from a Ryan Serhan vlog, who's one of my favorite vloggers um, from time to time. But uh, the rule goes that if it doesn't, if it won't matter in five years, you shouldn't give five minutes of your time worrying about it. And that's something that always puts things into perspective for me. You know, I'm a very long-term thinker. I've got long-term plans for Hit The Road. I've got a long-term plan for the vlog. I don't know if you remember Andrea, but you know, it was, it was that thing that we take out at least five years to build it, uh, you know, and we're only like halfway through. So we've already made like a hundred and something videos. We've got seven and a half thousand subscribers and we're not even, you know, in the beginning, you know, so five years is, um, is, is usually a time where people underestimate uh, what they can do and people overestimate what they can do in a year or in six months or in three months. Mm -hmm. So I like to put that into perspective and to know that, you know, whatever small challenge you come up with on a daily basis, if it's not going to matter in five years, you shouldn't worry about it in five minutes. In case you don't know, Hit The Road Madeira is uh, the greatest tour company in the world that happens to be based in Madeira and we do four by four tours um, around the island and other things. Uh, so that you guys can have a fantastic experience here in Madeira whether you're visiting or whether you live here trust me all right we've got something for you so check out hittheroadmadeira.com and use the promo code Hugo for presidents and get 10% off uh, your booking and book now because Madeira is in fashion and everything is being sold out fast including our Tours, remember, we're a small company, so uh, we don't have a lot to sell. Is so, that the Millennium Falcon right there? That might be, uh, you know what, that, that might be uh, Kylo Ren's... Um, <laughs> what's the name of Kylo Ren's uh, starship? I don't know. Do we know? We don't know. I'm not that big of a Star Wars nerd. But, uh, but I think it might be Kylo Ren uh, or, or maybe the chick from The Matrix. Have I said too much? <laughs> uh. Yeah, here we are. We've got to be careful. My favorite place in Madeira, huh? Could I say that? Usually I say that my house, my home, is my favorite place because I'm always out and about. But this place feels like home. And uh, yeah, this is a Dega do Pumar in Camacha, one of my favorite places. E this is my boy Romeo. Hello, nice, nice to meet you. <laughs> He's looking after us whenever I bring guests here and stuff and this place is epic. We're gonna get all into it. But for now, um, yeah, let's get organized. Let's get everybody happy and we're gonna, we're gonna wait and see. We're kinda hungry. You kinda hungry, Andre? Yeah. Let's go, let's go. So those of you who know me know that I'm a little bit of a, like a lone ranger. I've got my own thing going on always. But if I had to, uh, you know, get some kind of tips from somebody, it would be from this man over here, Marcio, uh, the, M the, the, the entrepreneur of the year uh, yeah. in Madeira. Uh, thank you, Marcio, for your time. E vamos passar para português porque sim, és mais forte em português. A gente adoramos o que estamos aqui a fazer, o que estás aqui a fazer, não é? Tens a, estás a 
no fim do dia, trazer aí uma nova, uma nova não, uma, uma antiga tradição e ainda em cima estás a inová-la um, com a sidra espumante. Este é... Para tu, a camacha sempre fez parte da memória, de, de, da memória coletiva dos madeirenses. Nós, a camacha está, está enraizada na nossa cultura. A camacha é, 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 é o berço da, da, do folclore. É aqui que se pratica os, os, os maiores músicos da Madeira saíram daqui. Uh, o balim, que é o que é tão característico da nossa, da nossa região, é daqui. A parte cultural toda, de artesanato, é tudo aqui. Só que a camacha que em desuso há uns 30, 40 anos para cá, à medida que as pessoas foram emigrando, que as famílias foram se, foram -se perdendo, a camacha era a cintra da madeira. Era aqui que vinham as, as grandes famílias ricas. Pronto. Eu, quando vim para aqui, o que eu não fiz mais foi, foi aproveitar um, um, um nicho que, que já é existente, mas estava esquecido, que era a, 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 o mercado da saudade. As pessoas têm saudade das coisas, as pessoas gostam destas vivências muito tradicionais. E o que eu fiz aqui foi recriar um pouco, foi redescobrir, redescobrir novamente, ou recuperar novamente essa, essa tradição. E, uh, uh, por complemento, quando nós compramos a, a quinta, uh, encontrei um pomar perdido aqui. O que acontece é que a sidra sempre foi o parente pobre da nossa, do nosso vinho, porque a sidra é um vinho. E será porque é porque o, a maçã é muito uh, ácida? Errado. errado. Contrário, completamente errado. Okay. Nós temos as melhores maçãs do mundo. É. Isto é verdade. Dito e notem, tive aqui um, um mestre de sidreiro. Cuidado com o ombro. Sim. <risos> Teve um mais cidreiro aqui na, 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 na nossa adega, que é da, da, das Astúrias, Cantábria, peço desculpa, que é, que é um, o, o Jesus da Cidra Samorosa, que tem as, as, uh, uma, só uma cidra dele já foi medalhada 12 vezes como a melhor cidra do mundo. E ele fico, ficou fascinado com o trabalho que está a ser desenvolvido aqui. Porquê? As nossas maçãs são doces. E aquilo que tu dizes que é um defeito, afinal não é um defeito, é, um, é uma virtude. Nem são ácidas. Um Sim, mas yeah. é, é, são ácidas. Não sei, yeah. São doces e ácidas. E por isso. Que tem a ver com a terra, não é? Com a terra da Madeira. Tem a ver com Como é uma, 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 uma ilha de origem, de origem vulcânica. Magnésio. Sim, e Bozal, yeah. e, Mas a base do nosso, do nosso terreno é, é, do, é vulcânica. É de origem vulcânica. E tem, tens muitos metais, tens muitos calcários, tens uh, uh, muita acidez nos terrenos. Pronto. A acidez da maçã é que lhes dá estrutura à maçã e, e longevidade. E a, e, a, e, a, e, a, e a doçura da maçã dá o teor alcoólico. Enquanto como... nas, outras, nas outras partes do mundo tu tens cidas de 5 graus, as nossas cidas são entre 7 a 10. E isso tem a ver com o... dá semelhança a vinho madeira, que aquela longevidade... Eu não consigo perceber isso, porque é isso mesmo que eu estava a explicar. Hum. Nós produzimos cidra há 5 séculos, mas fazíamos cidra, chamávamos a família ao sábado para apanhar as maçãs, exprimíamos as maçãs ao, ao domingo e bebíamos cidra na terça. Pronto. Okay. Então é rápido. É né? sim, é por isso que nunca se deu. A cidra tem baixa qualidade porque eram feitos com maçãs verdes, com descuidadas. Nós, como éramos pobres na altura, é. e tínhamos, uh, vendíamos a maçã boa para ganhar algum dinheiro. E, e é fazíamos a cidra com a maçã podre, ou a menos podre era para a cidra, e a outra podre era para os animais. Pronto. E também, a par disso, uh, 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 fazíamos, era muito nós, agricultores, vendíamos a maçã, nunca, de, nunca vendíamos, bebíamos vinhos de madeiras porque vendíamos as uvas para as casas de vinho, portanto o nosso vinho era aquele. Errado, a cidra deve ser feita em, na altura da panha em outubro e só se deve beber cidra na Páscoa. Porque a cidra na Europa está com a aumentar 20% ao ano o consumo. Pronto. A sério? Pro, a sério. Ou Principalmente para as camadas, mas, a parte comercial. As camadas, esta é a malta mais nova, uhum. já nunca vinho, já nunca cerveja. Estando sempre na, na, numa, numa tentativa de experimentar de coisas novas e a cidra tem uma coisa boa, é fresca. É, 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 e é de baixo teor alcoólico, portanto, tu podes bebê-la e é, é, não é calórica. A cidra não é calórica, portanto, tem açúcar, o açúcar degrada-se total, totalmente. Portanto, é uma bebida alcoólica fresca e não calórica, que é o, o que se quer. Comecei a desenvolver uma nova cidra, diferente, e não, ontem não, não já está a cidra, diziam que isto não é a cidra da madeira. Não, é a cidra da madeira, só que está a ser feita como deve ser feita. Pronto. Porque aquela cidra que tu falaste é uma cidra que não se bebe. Bebe-se um, 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 um copo culturalmente, mas depois já se pergunta se pode deitar açúcar. Pronto. <risos> o que é que eu fiz? Eu apliquei a analogia, porque a minha formação de base é por aí também. Eu apliquei a analogia por a cidra. Pronto. Um, 
Então fiz a cidra limpa, sem acidez, quase com borbulhas, fiz, apliquei uma coisa que nunca tinha feito na madeira, a espumantização de cidra, pelo mato champanhês, fiz isso, e fiz uma coisa que foi dar nobreza à cidra. E esse é o meu marido está aí, e acredito que a nossa cidra um dia há de ser reconhecida mundialmente por isso. Eu fiz foi, peguei em cidra e pus em barricas de vinho madeira, a estagiar. E então fiz uma, uma cidra encorpada, aromática, cheia de frutos secos, e que traz 505 séculos de, de, de tradição, que é a memória do vinho madeira. E estamos a ter tanto reconhecimento que este ano fizemos 6 mil garrafas e já vendemos 3, em menos de dois meses. E, e já vi uma e eu adorei, Pronto. portanto está muito bem feito. Tu, tu tens uma questão aqui que é a gestão de expectativa. Tu quando pagas tens de ter a certeza que aquilo que vais receber é bom. É o produto. Por, pronto, porque se tu pagas caro, vais com a expectativa alta e de repente aquilo que consomes não corresponde, só consomes uma vez. E depois levas uma coisa que é a mensagem negativa. Yeah. Pronto. E isso destrói qualquer produto. O que tens de fazer é tu, eu, no meu caso, eu sou o meu maior crítico. Eu não tenho, eu sempre me sempre na posição do cliente e começo a pensar, caramba, será que eu pagaria por ter uma coisa dessas? Yeah. E então aqui depois vejo todas essas, essas uh, análises, faço essa análise e depois ponho do lado na produção e diz, não, eu vou fazer isto com este perfil porque eu tenho que garantir que, que a pessoa quando pagar tem que corresponder às patatinhas. If you guys want to come out here, you know, we, to here and to Reizinho and whatever, you know, this is what we do at Hit The Road, you know, we bring people to these awesome places and we support people that are doing things like this, big things, good things, interesting things with quality. That's the kind of stuff that I look for. So when I heard about this whole project already, what, three years ago, three years ago. when I heard about this project, I was like, Matthew's building a Quinta. I want to go. I want to see what it's about because I already knew what you did before in the past and it was already of great quality. So thank you yeah, much. And thank you again. The final, the fifth, And final tip, of course there's loads more of these and don't worry, I'm not going to become a business advisor, a YouTuber, you know. I just like this stuff. I'm inviting you into my world and uh, trying to get a little bit more personal on the vlog. And the fifth and the most difficult topic that I want to speak about today is sustainability. As an entrepreneur, uh, I must admit when I was younger, I didn't ever really think too much about sustainability, you know, I was just like, get it out there, get to work, get money going, get like moving, get growing, get, you know, and you, you didn't really think about things like budgets for, for an entire year. We didn't really think about sustainability, about how, you know, how, what kind of costs need to be, you know, looked after um, to make sure that nothing falls apart and whatever. Um, not that things fell apart, you know, of course there's ordinary fires like any business, but Sustainability for me is something that I'm putting a lot more focus on um, and there's a, a lot more things in my mind regarding this, uh, ideas in my mind regarding this topic. You know, if we, without looking at sustainability, we don't know how to price ourselves right, how to value our work right, uh, how to get things done. Right, and this is the famous Late Town sandwich, the piglet, piglet sandwich. This is the only place I come to eat piglets, right? And I love it. So this time, they usually they do it in like a home bread. This time it's in the bolo de caco because I didn't know we could actually order it with bolo de caco. And they were like, yeah, we can do it in the bolo de caco. I was like, yeah, fuck it. Let's do it. There's a lot more cool stuff at Adega do Pomar. I promise a video coming out soon about the restaurant, about uh, the quinta, about other things here. But uh, yeah, that's it. So sustainability for the win. We are looking after our community. We are looking after our team. We are looking after the people around us, the people that matter. Uh, it's up to us to look after their uh, dreams and their objectives in life as business owners. So I think a lot about that. I hope you guys enjoy that. In next week's episode, we're looking at something super fun and exciting with me and Veronica. She's gonna be front stage on the next vlog. So stick around guys, like and subscribe. I'll see you next week video. Andrea? Let's hit the road. Let's hit the road. Now you have to uh, eat that. I gotta eat the one. sandwich. Can I do it with one hand only? Let's see if I can, actually, I can. Oh. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> Is it good? Mate, with bolo do caco,